Jonathan here. Welcome to the first video, really the first session within our 12-week pre-summer rapid results program. This is the start of what I believe is going to be an incredible transformation for you and your family, not only from a fitness and an energy and a health standpoint, but more importantly, as far as your overall happiness and your enjoyment of your journey, okay? Weight loss is great, fitness is great, health is great, but feeling energized, feeling remarkable every day when you jump out of bed, that's really what we're after, okay? The key is within this program to really dive deep on what I call the 12 laws of permanent weight loss. Now, permanent weight loss is something most people are after, but it seems to elude most people. So maybe you've had times in your life where you've lost the weight, but you put it back on. What I'm most proud of of this program and really boot camp hub in general is the fact that the habits you're going to build, the habits you are building are sustainable for the rest of your life. We're not doing dieting. We're not doing long workouts. We're not doing some crazy approach that you cannot sustain. I am asking you over this 12 week period to fully commit though, to go all in. It doesn't mean you're gonna be perfect. You're not, you're human. No one is but I'm gonna ask you to give your best stuff, to fully commit for 12 weeks, to go all in on the habits. As you've already seen or you're going to see, the guide that comes with this program is incredibly powerful. It's not long, but it's very precise and powerful. It's built on 24 key habits, eight nutrition habits, eight exercise habits, and eight mindset habits. Now each week I'm gonna have you take your updated score to see where you are from zero to three on the habits. The maximum score is 72. Now, the lower your score out of the gate, the more fired up and excited you should be about the opportunity of working the program. So if you take your score and you're an eight, who cares? It doesn't matter where you are. All that matters is where you're going. Okay, so follow my lead, commit to the 24 habits. I think you're going to find these videos to be really important tools in your journey as you hunt down your best self, okay? I'm gonna film the majority of the videos, hopefully all of them, in beautiful settings. I'm here in Situ, Massachusetts, my hometown, looking out on the water, the sun shining. It's absolutely beautiful right now. I am super excited to cover the first topic within these 12 laws, okay? During today's video, I'm just gonna warn you in advance, it's gonna be a little bumpy out of the gate, emotionally, all right? So try not to bail. Your negative voice will say, are you serious? This is empowering, this is actually disempowering. We're gonna go down a little low in order to then come out of the foxhole and get after it, okay? Today's topic, you've heard me talk about for years if you've been in boot camp, but we're gonna take a different angle on it, okay? Here it is. Control your negative voice. Now you've heard me talk about that before. If you're new to boot camp or you're new in general to our program, when I talk about your negative voice, that's just the voice within you that tries to talk you down, that tries to talk you out of healthy habits, that potentially wants to keep lecturing you about your weight or why you had dessert last week, uh, last night, or how'd you let this weight come on or what's wrong with you, all this other disempowering garbage. It's from what's called your negative voice. Now, some people think they don't have a negative voice, which I believe is a total joke. If you're breathing, you have a negative voice. It's that voice, again, that talks you down, particularly if you're struggling with your weight. Now, the key is people who are thriving and people who join what I call the Permanent Weight Loss Club, which is you've lost the weight and you've kept it off for five or more years. I believe at that moment, it's permanent. You are going to keep it off forever. You are an official member of the Permanent Weight Loss Club. I know it's a nerdy name, but I love it because I believe it's what we're all after, okay? A key to realize is that all the members of the Permanent Weight Loss Club, they also have a negative voice. They have that voice that tries to talk them down, to take them out, the voice that tries to get them to skip workouts, and to eat too many desserts. The reality is the people that keep the weight off for good, they learn to control that voice. It doesn't mean they nail all the decisions. 
It just means that they learn how to avoid being lectured all day from that voice about eating too many desserts or struggling with their weight and all this other disempowering garbage that holds you back. That is the battleground. It's not about exercise. It's not about nutrition. It's about winning the mental game so that you can control that negative voice and drop the weight for good. Okay? So today we're going to discuss how do you control your negative voice? How do you control that inner dialogue that then positions you to take empowering action to nail your workouts, to take in good nutrients, to stay hydrated, to get your sleep, and in general feel remarkable as you drop the weight for good. That's what we're after. That's what this 12-week program is about. Now, you may have read, ideally you're gonna drop somewhere between 10, two and five pounds a week. To be completely honest with you, you may end up having an absolutely transformative experience and only drop five or six pounds. But if you win the mental battle, and you get the tools in place, then you will absolutely take the weight off. So yes, I would expect that you're gonna drop at least two pounds a week or 24 pounds by the 4th of July during the 12 weeks. But if I can serve you and guide you correctly, you're gonna be so focused on your energy and your vibe and how you feel that you're almost gonna forget about your weight loss but the crazy thing is, as you forget about your weight loss is when it will truly take off because you'll be following through on the habits that lead to your energy being through the roof and your mood being up, but also those same habits are the ones that lead to dropping a consistent amount of weight per week, okay? So your negative voice, again, is that inner voice that talks you down or talks you out of taking consistent healthy actions to hunt down your best self, all right? So how do we control the negative voice, right? The key question, that's like the million dollar question. If you can answer that, you're gonna lose the weight for good. Let's start from a little bit of a negative angle. As I mentioned, I warned you, it's gonna be a little disempowering out of the gate, but what I want you to do to start is to add up the amount of time that you spend every day either thinking about your weight or potentially being lectured by your negative voice about your weight or about your clothes or about your gene size or about the desserts you ate last night or how did you let this happen or this is never going to work. That disempowering negative chatter from your negative voice. I want you to start the week one session right now with adding up the amount of time you spend per day, really I guess I'd call it dialoguing with your negative voice. Okay, so I want you right now, spend a minute or so really thinking about that. It might be while you're getting dressed in the morning, it might be while you're getting into your jammies at night, it might be at breakfast, at lunch, at dinner, it might be every Monday when you weigh in, it might be every time you work out. For a lot of people, as they add up the time they realize a couple things. Number one, it's a lot of time. Number two, it's debilitating. It robs you of your best stuff. Not only are you stuck while you're engaging your negative voice, you're actually going in the wrong direction. You are being pulled back away from your best self. It's not a neutral situation. It's really a negative pullback that's happening. So I want you to come up with a number. Maybe it's an hour, maybe it's an hour and a half. For some of you, it's two hours or more a day that you're spending in this inner dialogue. Now here's the exciting thing about this. You can pull it back, you can take that time back and you can commit it to your healthy habits, to your relationships, to your sleep, to your children, to your whatever goals you have, maybe you want to start learning an instrument or a new language, think of these huge chunks of time that you're gonna be able to pull back and take control of, especially all of you moms who have the most demanding and challenging job on the planet, okay? So come up with a number, so what's your number? Let's use, for example, two hours a day, all right? What I want you to do next 
is to take your number and multiply it by 365. Okay, just simply take your number and multiply by 365. So let's use the example of two hours a day, right? Two times 365 is 730 hours a year that you are spending being lectured and disempowered and talked down by your negative voice. 730 hours. Now, if you equate that to days within a year, the 730 hours ends up being 30 days a year. So you take your initial number of two, you multiply it by 365. So take your number, multiply it by 365, and then divide that by 24. You'll come up with the amount of days per year that you are spending being lectured and talked down and held back and bullied by your negative voice. So the two hours a day ends up being 30 days per year, 30, 24 hour days that you are being held back and imprisoned by your negative voice. One quarter of your life, excuse me, one twelfth of your life, you are being held back from that inner bully, okay? Again, this is not empowering. This is really, some of you may be crying right now realizing this is why I've struggled with my weight. It's not about food. It's not even about exercise. It's about how you speak to yourself. It's about what you focus on. It's about your inner dialogue. Again, you can't get rid of your negative voice. There's not a person on this planet who doesn't have a negative voice. Olympic athletes have negative voices. Do you think when Michael Phelps is on the starting line that he doesn't have some inner demon telling him he's not gonna be able to pull it off, he's not gonna be able to do it? Of course he does, but he's learned the coping tools to control that voice. That is what I'm going to guide you on today and as we move forward on this 12-week journey, okay? So that was the negative part of the first session, which is quantifying just how costly that negative voice has been, not only to you, but to your family, to your relationships, to you bringing your best self to the world. You've been imprisoned. And when you realize that and you put a number on it, and that cup, oh yeah, again, negative voice comes on, all of a sudden two hours a day gets translated to 730 hours a year, which gets translated to 30 full 24 hour days a year that you are stuck, that you are getting pulled back, that you are getting talked down. It's absolutely jolting. Some of you right now may be in a disempowered state, but we're about to come out the other side because what we just identified is not a problem, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to transform. And as I mentioned earlier, as you pull that time back, you take it back and you start delegating it to your children and your spouse and yourself and your sleep and your positive content and your relationships, the rocket will leave the pad, it's game over. Again, it's not about exercise. It's not about nutrition. It's about a mindset. It's about taking control of that negative voice that keeps talking you down, okay? The second thing I wanna to cover today, I call it the annoying coworker example. So I'm gonna give an example. Bill works with you. He's negative, he's whiny. All he does is complain about management and the lack of PTO time. And he likes to talk about his coworkers. He's constantly negative and you like to avoid him like you wanna avoid the plague, right? Because he's toxic, right? All he does is whine and complain. You want to get away from him every time you run into him at the office. Now here's the interesting thing. Your negative voice that talks you down every day about your weight and your health and your decisions, that's the bill. That's the negative coworker who is, again, toxic and you try to avoid. Now here's the interesting thing. The skill set of avoiding that coworker or that negative friend or that disempowering person, you already have that skill set. You already apply it to your life. So unless you have a really close family member, more than likely you've ditched her or him 
or you've marginalized them, tough word, but I believe it to be true, but you have not taken that same approach when it comes to you in your own inner dialogue. That's why you struggle with your weight. That's why you're overweight. It's not because you're lazy or you lack willpower or all this other disempowering garbage from your negative voice. You are literally getting lectured by a bully every day and that's why you struggle with your weight until this moment. Now the key is you get to control that negative voice. You get to get that negative coworker, Bill, who annoys you all the time, out of here, just like you would if he was with you at the office, okay? The third thing I wanna cover today is a quote from one of my mentors. Here it is. If you give a fool a stage, she or he will perform, right? I'll say it again. If you give a fool a stage, he or she will perform, right? It's, it's, it's brutal, right? When my mentor, one of my mentors said that to me, I was like, wow, that's rough. She wasn't applying it to a negative voice, but that's how I apply it in my phone coaching and how I'm applying it here. Think about it. Every day, your negative voice wants to lecture you about your weight or your weigh-in or your gene size or how you blew it last night on dessert and all this other garbage. You let her or him talk you down. Just like a young kid lets that bully keep trying to control them and keep talking them down versus standing up and saying, I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm gonna guide you with the tools on how you stand up to that inner bully, how you stop the lectures, how you stop wasting time dialoguing for two, three. I had a coaching client this morning tell me that her answer to that question is six hours a day. She's spending 2,000 hours a year with her negative voice talking her down, and that's why she struggled with her weight. Again, it's not about exercise, it's not about nutrition, it's about mindset. So as we wrap up this first session, or dialing in on this key concept, I want to invite you to think in terms of how do I disengage these disempowering questions from this inner bully? How do you stop the lectures on your weight, stop the lectures on your dessert, and pull back that time? Just like a young kid who's being bullied by that rude, annoying kid who wants to take his lunch or talk him down because he's not athletic, you get to take the same approach, which is if the bully comes up or engages you, you just say, I'm not dealing with you right now, or I'm done with you, or you make an annoying sound like, ah, and ultimately the, the bully goes to someone else because he or she can't engage you. You're not putting up with their garbage because you've raised your standards. You don't care if he's bigger than you or she's bigger than you, or you're not cut up, or you're not athletic. You literally do not care because you have the tools to marginalize this person and say, I'm not engaging you, or get away from me, or we're not having this conversation. You can do that up till this point Maybe you haven't done that and that's why you struggle with your weight. But you get to decide right now, today, 12 weeks out from the 4th of July, that you are pulling back that time. You're not sitting around going through your way in again to hear all this garbage about why you, why you gained two pounds or how did you blow it again eating ice cream last night or all this other disempowering garbage. It is the same record playing over and over again that has happened, some of you, not only for years, for decades, of struggling with your weight. Again, it has nothing to do with exercise. It has nothing to do with nutrition. It has everything to do with your mindset and whether you are gonna raise your standards and raise your expectations and decide that dialoguing with your negative voice about your weight or whether you're fit or whether you gained weight or whether you blew it last night is a complete waste of time and an injustice to you and your family because every time that happens guess what happens your kids lose your spouse loses your friends lose because you are held back you're in a negative state because your bully has been beating you up all day and then you wonder why you're struggling with your weight you struggle with your weight because you have spent many years being talked down and life is challenging enough. There's enough negativity in the outside world. Let that stay out of your home. Let that maybe try to get its way in and you can fend it off. 
but don't use your limited power each day fighting yourself okay you need more internal demons like you need a hole in the head you can do this okay this week this is about quantifying how much time are you spending being held back by that inner voice come up with the amount I use the example of two hours multiply it by 365 right the amount of days then you have your hours per year in my example 730 hours a year of listening to a bunch of disempowering garbage from that inner bully then you divide that number by 24 and you come up with the days per year that you're being held back in this case 730 divided by 24 it's 30 days a year that is why you have extra weight that you're carrying around that's why your family doesn't get your best stuff because you're wasting all this time being held back and lectured and disempowered from that voice this is the start of a 12-week journey together we're covering what I call my 12 laws of permanent weight loss remember I weighed 224 pounds when my dad died of cardiac arrest I know what it felt like I was wearing size 38 pants I was not fit I was not on fire but I woke up after losing my dad I lost 44 pounds 23 years ago I am a member of the permanent weight loss club I know how to lose the weight I know how to keep it off and I know exactly how to guide you in doing it that's why I'm so excited about this 12-week program as we lean into the 4th of July and about covering what I'm calling the 12 laws of permanent weight loss okay to summarize session one control your negative voice quantify your daily discussion time with your negative voice number two multiply it by 365 Number three, divide that by 24 to come up with the amount of hours per year that have been holding you back. The second thing is use the example I used to build the annoying coworker who you avoid because he's toxic in realizing you get to do the same thing to your negative voice. And then number three, using my mentor's quote, if you give a fool a stage, she or he will perform. You get to decide right now and tomorrow morning if you're gonna give a stage to your negative voice. Because guess what? She or he will perform. She or he will talk you down and tell you you're not athletic enough or you're not fit or you're overweight or your gene, your family genes genetically, you're never gonna lose weight. All this other disempowering garbage. That is why you have struggled with your weight. And ideally, between today's session and our 12 week journal journey together, you're gonna realize you can drop the weight for good you can hunt down your best self but most importantly you can be mentally at peace with yourself you can be happy today I don't care if you're 200 pounds overweight you can be happy right now because the reality is it was never about your weight it's about your self-worth it's about how you speak to yourself and it's about what you truly focus on okay I'll look out for you in the community to reply about the first law of permanent weight loss. I want to hear your thoughts on this topic. If you're open to sharing, I'd love for you to share your numbers. Remember, transparency wins. A lot of you think you're alone. You're not. 70% of the United States is overweight. And they're not overweight because they're lazy or they like to sit around and eat chips on the couch. They're overweight because they don't have the tools to mentally win to drop the weight for good you do you have signed up you have towed the line you have jumped in on this 12-week pre-summer program I'm gonna pour everything I have into you myself and the other 14 coaches expect to drop somewhere between 24 and 60 pounds it's realistic it's achievable you're not gonna diet you're gonna not gonna trash your body but I want you to go all in go all in on the 24 habits go all in on recommitting to yourself and your health and go all in on following my lead, you are going to crack the code for good. The days of wasting 730 hours a year are over as of right now, okay? Thank you for letting me be your coach. Keep on rocking, and I'll look forward to doing some live workouts with you at beautiful spots like here in Situate, Massachusetts soon. All right, I'll see you next week for the second session.